In this tutorial we'll be creating this powerful beam effect in After Effects. Now while preparing for this tutorial I actually figured that this effect can be used for many other things such as muzzle flashes, so this sort of looks like laser beams hitting or something similar, or maybe even something subtle where we have those rays like underwater. So yeah, let's get into the tutorial. This is the shot that I'm gonna be working with and the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and rotoscope this small building here. So I'll duplicate the shot and select my roto brush double click the layer and let's just create a quick mask here. All right, once I'm happy with the mask, I'm just gonna click on freeze and let it do its thing. Okay, let's go ahead and rename this to house and we're gonna be adding our first effect, which is obviously Saber to create the beam effect. I'm gonna create a new solid, we'll make it black and I'll drop this under my house layer right here. Let's add Saber to it. Now I can use a mask to just create two points here and that will be our emitter, but since I'm only using two points, I'll just go ahead and use these two core end and start. So I'll position this right here and this one about here. I'll just make sure the same position is set for both on the Y axis here. And I can go ahead and isolate this and I'll select one of the templates. Let's go with fire, for example. All right, now the trick to this effect is using a CC scale wipe. So what this effect does is basically stretches out anywhere we place it. So if I'm gonna set this here and I'll set the direction to zero and start stretching it out. So we're getting some cool details from our glow and distortion and they're stretching out throughout the clip. So we can use this to actually create some sort of a beam effect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change the color here and we're gonna go into the distortion and here you can basically set how crazy you want this to be. I'm only going to increase the core distortion here just so we get some more details and we're going to set the direction here of the wind to 90 and here as well so it's going upwards. All right so if you want this to slow down basically anything that has speed here just set it to something like 0.2 and 0.2 and this should slow things down and do the same for the core but I want our effect to be kind of fast so I'm going to keep it at default. All right so next let's set a few keyframes so I'll go into my saber and set a keyframe for my glow intensity and the core size. And on my scale wipe, just set a keyframe for the stretch. So let's move these three right here. And we'll start all from zero. And we can actually set another keyframe for the stretch right here. And this one will be, let's say, 50. And the last one's gonna be 35. I'm gonna select my keyframes, hit F9 and just select these two under my graph here and just give it some ramping. And I'm gonna delay these keyframes here just by a few frames. So this way it just shoots out and kind of comes down just a bit here to give us some impact. All right, let's unhide everything and we can set the saber layer to add. Now here, obviously the shot is moving and we can go ahead and track it, but as you can see, it kind of stays in place. So I'm not gonna do it for this one, but obviously you should do that if your shot has more movement or whatnot. All right, I'm just gonna duplicate this layer here and create a rough mask here just to bring back the area since we didn't roto it and just feather it out a bit here. Now, obviously if you want some more detail, just play around with some of the settings here. You know, the possibilities are endless with this. So yeah. Now, one more thing I've added here is I created an adjustment layer and I'm just gonna create a rough mask here where my beam is going. And make sure this is under the house. And add a turbulent displace here. Let's set this to something minimal, so 15 and size maybe eight. And I'll just set a keyframe for my evolution here. Go to the end and give it one full evolution. We can keyframe the mask to give this some adjustment and drag this below the saber layer. Maybe just increase this to 15 and this to 25, just to give this some distortion in the back. I'll go into my roto brush here and just give some feather on my edges and maybe shift the edge just to retain some of the glow. Now, in the beginning, you've probably seen that I've got some light illuminating on the trees here and on the ground. And we create this by basically making an adjustment layer. Let's add a curve effect to it. And I'm just gonna mask here around my trees. And we can set some keyframes to track this throughout the shot. So, okay, and I'm just gonna feather these out. So I just have these masks here I manually tracked on my environment. 
And on my curves here, I'm just gonna make it brighter, go into my blue and make it a bit of bluish here. Bring up the opacity, alt click the stopwatch and type in wiggle. Let's say 5 comma 70. Obviously you want to match the color of our beam here. But yeah, this is pretty much how you create this effect. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.